Hi, my name is Dana Young. I'm going to lead you through a setup of the virtual concierge service for Google Home devices. First step to go to the website, virtualconciergeservice.com. You can see the green button that says sign up. We'll click that. And then we're going to fill in some information here. Use their standard email that's a good place to get a hold of you. Go ahead and put my name, company, a password, and hit sign up. Okay, now we are signed into the, to the website. We'll go ahead and click support here in the menu. And that will bring us to setup instructions. Setup instructions for Amazon Echo, and then we click here for Google Home. First step is to get a Google Home device. And then after you've got your Google Home device, we recommend setting up a separate Google account for your vacation rental. So every place where you want unique individual content, you will want to have a separate Google account for that. If you have four properties and you want to have four different sets of content, then you will want to set up a separate Google account for each of those four properties. Okay, and then beyond that, we're going to follow the normal setup instructions to get it online. So if you haven't done a Google account before, you just click this link and this will give you the opportunity to create your account. I've already gone ahead and done that, so we're going to use that account moving forward. I've got my Google Home device here, and in order to start from the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and do a factory reset by holding down the mute button for 15 seconds or more. You're about to completely reset Google Home. To cancel, release the button. Okay, so now it's resetting to factory defaults. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, now that's what we've done here. We've got Google Home on this iPad mini. And as you can see, if I go over to the account, I'm logged in as my Test VR Concierge 3 account, which is the one we're going to use to set up this device. In the upper right hand corner of the screen, you can see this little icon, which takes you to devices. From here, we'll say add a new device. And then it's going to prompt us to turn on Bluetooth to allow Google Home to connect to accessories if you don't have that done already. Once your Google Home is detected via Bluetooth, you can see there's a setup button. Go ahead and click that. And it'll go through this process of connecting to the Google Home. We heard the sound, so we know we're connected. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes at the bottom of the screen. Where is this device? Let's go ahead and say it's in the kitchen. We're going to choose a Wi-Fi network. And I'll go ahead and enter the password now. Say done. And connect. Connecting to Wi-Fi, connected. And now we're into the setup mode with Google Assistant. So you can see here, uh, your speaker has Google Assistant built in. Hit, say, hey, Google, to get answers. Say, next. And here, in terms of permissions, what we want to do is say, um, yes, I'm in to giving your new assistant permission to help you. Now it says, teach your assistant to recognize your voice. 
On this, down in the corner, we're going to say skip. Are you sure? I'm sure. It says choose your assistant's voice. We'll go with the defaults. And it says allow personal results. For this one, down in the lower right hand corner, say allow. And then the pop up allow. You can enter your address. Add music uh, services if you like. I'm going to go ahead and say not now. Okay. Almost done. Payment method. Google Home is ready. So basically that's the process. If I hit continue now. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. All right, at this stage, we just need to hit the next button here. It, it gives us the basic starting points of how to use the Google Home device. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna say skip for the time being in terms of notifications around Google Home. And it says, welcome home. Okay, now that the basic device setup is complete, let's see what happens when we actually want to invoke the concierge at this stage. Hey Google, talk to the virtual concierge. It looks like your the virtual concierge account is not linked yet. You can link the virtual concierge to your Google account from the Google Home app. Okay, and that's expected because we haven't yet done the linking yet, which is the next step. After we have that initial conversation with the virtual concierge, this link to the virtual concierge blue box appears for convenience. You can click the link button in the lower right corner, and that will initiate the process of linking your Google account. You can see here the login. I'll hit the sign in button. Notice I'm using the same exact account as I set up for my vacation rental. And after I enter my password, click Next. It will go through the authentication process and pull me back over into the Google Home app with the account now linked. Okay, now that we have account linking set up, let's do the same thing again and see what happens with the virtual concierge. Hey Google, talk to the virtual concierge. Sure, here's the virtual concierge. Thanks for trying out the virtual concierge. You are on your way to provide your guests a valuable new service. The next step is to go to the owner manager portal and add some custom content. It's easy. Please see the instructions on our website at vacation rental virtual concierge.com. Okay. And that's the expected behavior as well. Now we're going to actually go in, add some content, and then the virtual concierge can provide that to our guests. Let's take a look back at the website here and baseline where we're at. We've completed step one. We have the Google Home and it's all set up. And we've completed step two. We've added the Vacation Rental Virtual Concierge app to Google Home. The next step is number three, provide your customized answers. So let's click here to go to the management portal. We're gonna go ahead and select that same login that we used before when we created the account on the website. So I will log in. And you can see that I don't have any properties. And so I'm going to add one. I'll click Add Property. If I had an Amazon Echo, I'd log in with Amazon, but I've got a Google Home, so I'm going to sign in with Google. I'm going to pick that same account that I had used previously. You can see now I've got a tile that represents the property. If I had more properties, they would all be laid out here in tiles along the screen. If I click on the property, it brings me to the custom content section. Let's go ahead and immediately enter some host information and property information to get started. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to say that I've got a cabin. 
and it's going to be the cabin by the creek. And the next step is to upload an image. We have the opportunity to add individual items that are unique and custom to whatever you'd like the concierge to deliver. However, if you want to get a fast start, it might be easier than instead of adding item by item and building your own tree, you can actually load a template and get a fast start. So here I've loaded the template, which is the real world example of the content that we deliver at the Lodge at Palmer Lake to our guests. So let's go ahead and make some modifications. First of all, this isn't a lodge. So for the personal welcome from the owner, I'm going to say, hello, Jones family. Welcome to the cabin. We've been looking forward. Save. OK. Next, we have a category here called the lodge. I'm going to change that to the cabin. And save. At this point, I'd like to share some quick information about the structure of the tree. You can see here in the content, items are indented from one another. That indicates a parent-child relationship. So at the top of the tree, we have a personal welcome from the owner, the cabin, and so on. Children of the cabin include group orientation and arrival and departure, and there are more down the list. Within arrival and departure, there are three items, and these are all child items of this parent. You can move items graphically. So if you'd prefer to have parking before departure and before arrival, you just drag and drop and relocate an item. Then it will actually show up for the users in the menu in the order that you define. Another thing to point out is the idea of a welcome message. So when we loaded this template, we got a welcome message that says, to get started, say, give me some tips. Or, and then it goes on to say, would you like a menu of options? So the idea of give me some tips, if a user were to say, give me some tips, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's actually an item called some tips. And so when they say that, they're going to hear this. Here are some tips for using the virtual concierge. And we actually provide some specific things that they can ask about. For example, you can say, tell me about restaurants. You can also ask about attractions, wineries, hiking, and lots more. The final thing to note is that it says at the bottom of this, to hear more things, say, what else do you know? So that what else do you know will trigger another block of content, which in the case of this template, provides all the different things that guests can ask about at the Lodge at Palmer Lake, or in this case, we're redefining it as Cabin by the Creek. So you can make use of this. It's included in the template. There's a few more quick things to share. I've shown you how to edit items. Let's go ahead and delete a couple items. Let's say we don't need climate control. I'll just hit the red X. That's gone. Making calls, we don't need that either. Red X. Okay, how about adding an item? Let's say underneath places in the area, we actually have a whole set of restaurants here, but what we don't have is a coffee shop. So I'm going to go ahead to the parent item of restaurants and hit the plus sign. And I'm going to say we've got Sherry's Corner Coffee. This is a great opportunity to talk about tags. So if a guest shows up and they've never been there before, they probably don't know to ask about Sherry's Corner Coffee. However, they would know to ask about a coffee shop. They might say about a coffee shop. So I'm going to add coffee shop as a tag. And now that content that we'll enter here would be available to guests when they say, where can I find a coffee shop? We'll just say, Sherry's is the best coffee 
in town and save. Now that we've used the portal to define all our custom content, let's go ahead and give it a spin. Hey Google, talk to the virtual concierge. Okay, let's get the virtual concierge. Welcome to Cabin by the Creek. To get started, say, give me some tips, or would you like a menu of options? Yes. For a personal welcome from the owner, say one. For the cabin, say two. For places in the area, say three. Or say, more choices. Now, what would you like? What's the Wi-Fi password? Wi-Fi is available. The password is Lake Fun, all one word, like Palmer Lake, and girls just want to have fun. How else may I assist? I want a coffee shop. Sherry's has the best coffee in town. What else can I help with? Tell me about a hiking trail. The Tenasket Ranger District covers more than 180 hey, miles Google. of trails. Give me some tips. Here are some tips for using the virtual concierge. You can respond to my questions or you can tell me specifically what you want. For example, hey, you Google. can say, tell me. Exit. So that's the demo. I'd like to show you one more thing that could be really useful. If I go back to the Google Home app, you can see here I've got the option again up in the corner for devices on this icon. Then I've got my kitchen speaker that we set up. I'm going to click these three dots up in the corner and go to settings. In settings, you'll see a section here called Google Assistant settings. I can click more. And then I get this long list of options. Down near the bottom, there is shortcuts. And then I have the option to add a shortcut with the plus. So it says, when I say, and I'm going to say concierge, the Google Assistant should, and I'm going to type talk to the virtual concierge and then I'm going to hit save okay we have a shortcut set up now so that you don't have to say that long thing if you want to pro provide your guests an easier access to the concierge So let's try it out now. Hey Google Concierge. All right, getting the virtual concierge. Welcome to Cabin by the Creek. Okay, so you can see it's easy now. You just say, hey Google Concierge. Sure, here's the virtual concierge. 